Continuing on with our series on moving up in the organization tips and techniques, I want to talk to you about the water cooler concept or um, basically getting together with uh, other people in the office and discussing things. Just um, simple, short, idle uh, chatter or conversations between individuals. Well, there's a lot of benefits to the water cooler actually. It, it is a it, it, these simple conversations or interactions uh, do strengthen the team in many ways. It um, allows you to establish some of those social bonds that are necessary to create a, a, a strong fit among team members. But it can, it can also be a negative thing. You don't want to be seen as the never-ending conversationalist, the individual who comes into offices, leans against the wall, and is still there talking 30 minutes later. It detracts from work, and people who are busy and have things to do start to perceive it very negatively. When, when times are idle, when you have nothing to do, yes, it can be appreciated and um, can help the time go by. But in most situations, it, you'll come across times when people need to get things done, and, and that popping in and wanting to have a long extended conversations again can be perceived negatively and once you're perceived that way um, you're perceived as an I uh, basically someone who is not a hard worker okay and that um, your output cannot be that great so you don't want to be tagged as that person the unproductive or potentially lazy person that spends all their time again talking, uh, hanging out in the lunch room, hanging out by the water cooler, doing whatever. The perception is, is extremely poor and can, and can hurt you greatly in moving, moving up in the organization, particularly at lower levels, uh, because as we discuss in other videos, uh, early on in, in the career, competence um, and a consistent demonstration of, of competent completion of work, task, and duties is at a premium. And of course that goes down later on in the career where you tend to move up more based on fit and likability and not making waves with others. Well, it's early on when competence is at a premium, uh, the never-ending conversationalist again is um, uh, perceived very negatively. Okay, uh, so if you like to talk a lot, Make your conversations productive. Yes, there's a social value there, endearing people to you, but make certain a certain uh, percentage or, or portion of your uh, conversations that you have are on business topics. And um, if you're going to have a, a conversation, try to throw in something or end the conversation with um, some important business topic before ending it. It um, it creates a perception there that the conversation itself was worth it. It just happened to take longer than it should, but the value you end with um, displaces some of the loss of time and productivity uh, associated with the long, uh, drawn-out um, conversation. So, um, and so beginning and ending uh, a conversation with Im important topics uh, can again be important. So um, use these techniques. Uh, if this is a negative tendency you have, um, use it to its benefit that it creates uh, a social bond, but again, don't overdo it. Okay?